everyone, Edward here at Windows Report and in this video I will show you what to do if you can't activate your copy of Windows 11. So before we dive in into any solutions just make sure of the following. Check your internet cables to make sure that they are correctly connected. To do this simply unplug and replug them from your PC. And afterwards just make sure to verify the internet connectivity. This is super super simple, so you can access your Wi-Fi by going into the lower right corner and clicking on the Wi-Fi icon. In here you can check if you're connected to the internet and if not make sure to click on the arrow next to the internet connection, scroll down and find the network that suits you and select the blue connect button. Now you can check if the problem still persists. The first solution that you should always take in consideration is to run the network adapter troubleshooter. To do this press the windows button then select the settings icon and afterwards make sure to click on system on the left pane and then on the right side scroll down until you find and select the troubleshoot section. Now simply click on other troubleshooters and lastly just scroll down until you find the network adapter section and click on the run button next to it. Now Windows will try to find any issues and fix them as soon as possible. Another useful solution is to update Windows 11. To do this press the Windows button then select the settings icon and then make sure to click on Windows update on the left pane. Lastly just click on the blue check for updates button and Windows will try to scan for the best possible updates for your PC. After installing these updates just make sure to restart your PC and then check if the issue still persists. And lastly another great solution is to run an SFC scan. To do this press the Windows button then simply type CMD and then run command prompt as an administrator. In here just type the following command or copy paste it from the description below and then press enter after this command. Now note that the scan can take a bit of time so don't lose patience. Afterwards just restart your PC and then check if the problem still persists. And that's it. Super simple, isn't it? As usual, for more information and details you can check the article in the description below. And if you enjoyed this video just make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.